Welcome, ladies, to our Kaomi Hati in celebration of National Women's Day that's coming up. Um, we just want to get to know, obviously, the women that support Kaomi a bit better behind, you know, the graphs, our screens, designs, and obviously every policy out there. So there are some set questions that I'd like to ask each of you ladies in, you know, support and commemoration of your achievements in life and in your career. What is one of your most significant achievements in life? Cool. So I think for me, my biggest sort of achievements in life has actually been working with our charity drive at Kayomi. Um, it's always been something that I've wanted to do, um, but you need sort of funding and things behind you. So you need people to fund, can't generally fund on your own. Um, so that has been a massive platform for me and an achievement for me to work alongside the team, work alongside management and just find some really amazing charities that we've been able to sponsor and sort of uplift um, their environments and things. So that for me has been a massive achievement. It's been a lifelong dream of mine um, and it really does fulfill me when you know, we're on these sort of charity drives and events and things and there's so much um, sort of gratification that I get from it. So that for me has been my biggest achievement so far. What was one of your most valuable life lessons that shaped you into the woman you are today? <laughs> this, um, this is a tricky question to answer because yeah, just like just like Jane says, there's, there's a lot of things that, that shape, shape you as a woman. Um, but I think um, from my perspective, um, it has been growing, growing up um, as as a teenager without my my mom actively being in my life, um, and then realizing as I as I grew older that you know I I needed to have that journey with myself. I needed to allow myself to become a woman. So. I feel like for a lot of my 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 twenties, I felt a little bit, um, I guess, frozen in this this teenager shape, and you know, and I feel like once I I, I guess I I got to my thirties, I realized actually, you know what, um, there's this there's this this female power, there's this this whole other other world of knowledge and wisdom um, that's. I, I can explore and, and I know better now and I feel a little bit more robust and a little bit stronger. So I guess it's sort of, it's, it's, it's not really a straightforward answer. I wish there was one thing that I could pinpoint, but I think, you know, it, it, it feeds into what Jen was saying is, is making mistakes, realizing that, okay, I can get up from them. I can have arguments with people and it won't be the end of the world. And, you know, there's, there's learning through experience. And I think that's, and, and that never stops. Um, I always thought growing up, you'd, you'd, you'd reach a point where you're an adult and then you're set for life. You're smooth, it's going to be smooth sailing. And that is very much not the case. And I think that is to, to keep on realizing, ah, I'm still learning and I don't have to be perfect. I don't have to know everything. It's okay to ask questions. You actually look worse if you try and pretend like you know what you're doing versus, hey, listen, I don't know. Please um, help me. <laughs> well, that's me. What are the core values that you try and live daily? Very similar to what Colette and Jenna have mentioned is, you know, like accountability, humanization, uh, empathy, sympathy, and truthfulness. Um, one of my biggest boundaries is lying. So like, I don't care how small the lie is, rather just be honest and take accountability for that action. And, you know, like I might be angry in the moment, but at least I won't be as angry as, as I would be if I had to find out like a week later. So like trying to keep an honest mind is definitely something that is key to me. Like rather own your accountability of your actions and try and move on from it because that is a lesson at the end of the day. And if you guys could go back in time and change one thing, would you, um, if you would, what would that one thing be? 
<laughs> Again, it's, it, it's no single, well, actually there are, there, there's several single instances that um, if I could go back and change them, I would love to. But again, the the knock-on effect of that has led me to um, wonderful things. So it, it's very difficult to want to go back and change. But I think as a person, if I could, um, I would be a lot kinder to a lot more people because sometimes my mouth kind of like you leash my mouth kind of runs away with me and and there's been times when i've um, offended people and <laughs> and i've upset my kids because i'm making a smart comment or something like that and and then afterwards i'm like you that wasn't very nice um and and much later you you know you have people say to you yeah i remember like 12 years ago when you said that thing and you know you really hurt my feelings i'm like really <laughs> so i think if I were to, to change anything, I would just be a lot kinder and a lot gentler with people from long ago. What advice would you give the younger female generation trying to move up in the marketing industry? Okay, so definitely be true to yourself. Have a voice. Um, as Ty said, there are lots of um, dogs barking at you at the same time. So you need to say no like if you something you can't do something try to say no or not just blatantly say no say or push back um as ty said as well but say i'll look at it during the week or later on i don't have time right now um so just pushing back because otherwise people want so many pieces of you but and there's no pieces of you to give that that makes sense also um this this industry is very fast pace so have an avenue to de-stress so whether you want to go and do some baking in the kitchen while you feel overwhelmed if you want to do meditation if you want to do yoga if you want to go walk on the treadmill for 30 minutes have that avenue to de-stress um, just otherwise it will literally suck you in and eat you alive um, so yeah just be brave and be truthful and be honest um, and you need a personality that kind of wants to grow because this industry is growing at a very fast rate. So if you have that personality and that drive to grow, then you will do very well in this industry. Well, thank you, ladies, for joining me for our heart here. Um, obviously, it's been great getting to know you a little bit more deeper. And I'm pretty sure, you know, some of our advice will be sunk into the younger generation's head. I know it's sinking into mine at the moment. Um, but yeah, I hope you all have a lovely day. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Thank, Thank you, everyone.